In this tutorial, we're going to be working with masks and channels. Photoshop masks, isolate, and protect parts of an image, just as masking tape protects window panes or trim from paint when a house is painted. You can use masks for other complex editing tasks, for example, applying color changes or filter effects to an image. In Photoshop, you can make temporary masks called quick masks, or you can create permanent masks and store them as special grayscale channels called alpha channels. Photoshop also uses channels to store an image's color information. Unlike layers, channels do not print. You can use the Channels panel to view and work with alpha channels. A key concept in masking is that black hides and white reveals. Let's get started. Here we're going to use the Quick Selection tool to create the initial mask in order to separate the model from the actual background. So we're going to select the Quick Selection tool over here in the Tools panel. And we're going to make the brush size in the Options bar to about 15 pixels. And the hardness needs to stay at 100%. And then we're going to take and select the man. Now, it's fairly easy to, to select his shirt and face, but the hair is a little trickier. So don't worry about this if it isn't perfect. We're going to refine the mask in the next exercise. So let's go ahead and select the man. Let me get the last part of his shirt here. Okay, now we're going to select the masks panel over here beside the adjustments panel. If you do not see this, you can always go to window and choose masks. Now we're going to click on add a pixel mask button right here. If you notice, the selection becomes a pixel mask and a new layer, layer 0, appears in the layers panel. Everything outside of what we selected before is now transparent and this is represented by the checkerboard pattern background. Okay, so we're going to smooth the mask and fine-tune the mask around the hair. So in the Masks panel, you're going to click Mask Edge. When the Refine Mask box pops up, you can kind of move it over to the side if you'd like. You're going to choose the View Mode to be on black, and then click out of there. In the Adjust Edge section, we're going to put the Smooth slider to 15, the Contrast slider to 40%, and the Shift Edge to about negative 8 or 9. Let's do it, negative 8. Select the box Decontaminate Colors, and choose a new layer with a new layer mask. It's already selected from the Output to Menu. Select the Zoom tool. With the zoom tool selected, we're going to zoom in around his head and face area. And you can use your scroll bars to go up and down. We want to pick the Refine Radius tool in the Refine Mask dialog box. We're going to use it to paint out any of the white that remains around the lips, the nose, the hair. So let's select that Refine Radius tool. And we're just going to color around in here. When we release our mouse, it turns back to black to let us know what we've done. And you can see that you, I've missed a few spots, so when you're keep going down through here, when you're satisfied, you can move on to another area. Let me scroll down and take a look down here. When you're satisfied with the area, you can click OK. And if you notice, there's a new layer over here. It's called Layer Zero Copy. The last thing we're going to do is make that magazine background layer active. And let's go ahead and zoom out. I'm going to use Control Minus since I'm a Windows user. If you're a Mac user, you use Command Minus. And now the model appears in front of an orange patterned background. So to recap what we did, we created a mask. We took the model the background out of the picture with the model, and we refined a mask, smoothed out his hair, took out the white spacing around his face and his neck, and then we put him in front of a magazine background, the orange patterned background.